Hey guys, Grenade Shark here with a tip for you air to ground pounders out there. Um, this can also apply to you air to air combat, but this is mostly aimed at the ground pounders today. You know, we get out there sometimes, we're busting down targets, and you run into a situation that you probably don't even notice that you're running into. But I'm going to show it to you right now and explain what's the problem and how to fix it. So here we're in front of us, we have a target we're looking at, it happens to be a liberator. We're going to sit there and dive bomb it. So the first thing, and use rocket pods. So the first thing you generally do is we start going after it. We fire. We start getting close. We hit our brakes. If you look at the thing in the bottom left corner, you're going to see if now my speed is speeding up. I want to finish this liberator off, but I'm speeding. And so I, then I have to pull off because I'd crash into it otherwise. What happens is I'm going to demonstrate it again without firing a target. Is once you've used the brake once while descending, you can never use it again. Your aircraft is going to speed up, speed up, no matter what you do, turn, pitch up, pitch down, you're just going to keep running towards the ground. Well, this is a problem if you want to hover in one place while aiming down and killing ground targets. So, how do we alleviate this problem? Well, you alleviate it with your afterburner, funny enough. So I'm going to demonstrate here what it looks like and what you're actually going to do. So instead, this time, I hit my brakes. As soon as I start speeding up again, I hit my afterburner and my brakes again. And I do it over and over until I get my target killed. So as you can see, I can now stand in place for 10 times, 20 times as long as I was before. Now one thing this does require is having your de-throttle key binded to analog throttle. If you're not familiar with analog throttle, it is in your under the aircraft settings. Basically, you have either throttle down. It's currently probably bound to S. I currently have it bound to throttle down. I'll show it to you right now. Settings, key binding, aircraft, analog throttle. Using this technique, you can stay in the air much longer ground pounding targets. Keep in mind, if you have a high-end keyboard, you could actually macro this to where you're actually just pressing one button to do both actions. Um, I'd have to you'd need to check the terms of use on that, but something that you might try well guys that's it for today if you have any questions uh, please sit, feel free to leave a tell in the YouTube comments and otherwise I'll show you an example of it going well thank you